Hello, good evening. I'm K Mukherjee, and today I will show you uh, the PyMO object oriented programming and particularly the inheritance. Uh, please uh, refer my uh, last uh, uh, recording. Uh, you will uh, see the, the use of PyMO and object oriented programming interface. And today I will show you how to use this inheritance. Same code uh, I will use, and uh, you will get this code uh, from the GitHub. Uh, on the top, I have mentioned here that is this import platform so that you could check uh, whether it is a 64 bit or not because I am using the CIPLEX 64 bit, ACIP also 64 bit. After that, I'm just checking uh, here that is uh, what is the uh, version of this PyMO? It is 6.62. And uh, next, I'm creating a class that is VRP TW, vehicle routing uh, problem uh, with the decorator. And I am, you know, inheritance uh, means I'm using this concrete model, a meta class is type. So what you need to do, a small correction is there. That is uh, when you are, uh, means uh, directly using this inheritance of this concrete model, instead of using self dot model is equal to concrete model to, you know, uh, instantiate this concrete model and use this self dot model repeatedly. So here, what I will do, I will just uh, use this concrete model, then init it with the self and the instance name. Instance name I am giving uh, VRPTWC101. The one correction is there. I am using this instead of the 100 customers. I am using 200 customers to check whether this code uh, or as well as this math model will work or not. The in this uh, last uh, recording, uh, I use this uh, uh, code for the and the math model for the hundred customers. Now, uh, now I will use this uh, code for the two hundred customers. Uh, same math model. So that is a self dot data. You are transferring the data self dot customers. You are creating this customers. You are checking how many customers are the, here. So it will give two hundred customers. Then you are creating this vertex means including zero means including the depot, depot is for the zero. You are creating an arc, then you are measuring this, uh, you know, uh, self dot C, the self dot distance matrix, basically it's a function. It will populate this dictionary self dot C, then self dot uh, vehicle max capacity, you will get this vehicle max capacity. Self dot ready time, you will get this ready time. Self dot due date, you will get this due date. Uh, from the data, then you create this uh, set that is a collection of arc. Then uh, create a parameter that is self dot arc initialize self dot c. You will get all this uh, parameter. I told you the difference between this parameter and the variable. Self dot max cap that is this uh, vehicle maximum capacity. Self dot customers. This uh, you are creating a set of customers. Now you are creating a variable. Variable is x, self dot x. It is basically a binary variable, self dot q. It's basically, you know, a real variable. When I'm using self dot x, you can check the variable self dot arc means it will take two indices, x, i, j means if the vehicle is moving from ith node to jth node, the binary variable is equal to one, otherwise equal to zero. Now you are creating the self dot u that is variable self dot customers. This customer is equal to one. So it is using only one index that is u uh, i. Now self dot time dot two is variable self dot vertex. Um, uh, you know, taking this bound uh, from this function self dot uh, time two bounds. Self dot depart means what is the departure time from each and every vertex. So you will get it from here. I'm considering as a non-negative reals. And this way I'm creating, you know, using uh, the uh, function decorators, the objective, the constraint, constraint two, constraint uh, three, then constraint four, then constraint five. Then I'm using here this, uh, uh, distance functions that is you can check there is self dot data x coordinate i log i have used instead of i log you can use this iter rows or uh, iter tuples it would be more convenient and uh, for this a uh, large uh, data set now i'm measuring this distances here now the next case upper bounds then time two bounds then it is checking this math model and this finally i am 
using this def uh, define a solver that is self dot solver is solver factory i'm using scip solvers i'm giving this executable that is this path this location of this uh, scip opt uh, so it's it's an scip dot exe file locations and at the same time i'm giving this uh, solver parameters although these parameters won't take the value at present so i will show you how to pass these parameters initially you can start with now self dot results is self dot solver dot solve and passing the self instead of the self dot model you just need to pass self and tt equal to true at the same time i'm writing this uh, you know entire uh, lp file that self dot write instead of self dot model dot write you need to write is just i mentioned self dot write and after that you need to pass if a loop means to check the solver status you need to check the solver termination conditions if there are any infeasibility then this infeasible yeah, the constants responsible you know, for this infeasibility will automatically be logged here and at the same time uh, finally i am calculating this objective value that is basically self dot obj that is objective and at the same time i'm just checking if this xij is equal to one then in that case it will plot and in this code i'm also including you know how to read a text file because c200 this series is basically contains a text file so what i'm doing i am taking this column name here this is hard coded you have to write it here these two methods i mentioned method one is basically you know you need to create the customer number x coordinate y coordinate all these are the, basically the list based on uh, what is the concept see the customer number so one field you are creating a list for x coordinate you are creating another list y coordinate you are creating another list but this method is not so good because a lot of list you are using so it will you know uh, for the large number of uh, uh, columns, it will create the problem. So method two is a little bit straightforward. What I'm doing, I'm just reading for the method one and method two, you need to read the text file. That is V to open, uh, you need to pass this path of this text file, read as if, then you are reading this entire line. That is the read lines. Indices on this line, you are enumerating it and you're passing this content. If index is zero, the instance is equal to line, you are just taking this instance name. If index is equal to four, you need to split this line. And this is very important because in this list, even if you split it like this line dot split with this one, if you take this value and if you print it, it will see a lot of spaces. So if you need to remove the spaces, what you can do, two methods are there. You can use this filter, filter uh, dot, uh, within this filter, you pass this, you know, uh, argument that is uh, string str string dot strip strip and this val that is you pass this val so automatically you know from this list this blank spaces uh, will be removed alternatively what you can do i have used here a, a for loop that is x for x in val if x so it will automatically remove this blank spaces and finally you are getting this uh, value once you are getting this value I'm creating one list that is data, then data dot happen, then I'm passing all these values, okay? And these values is basically, you know, this column values. There's a column values. And after that, I'm creating a data frame. This data frame is here. This uh, data is equal to pandas dot data frame. We are passing this data, this list, and the columns, that is a column name. Alternatively, what you can do, that is as per this method one, this pandas dot data frame, this customer number, you pass this list, x coordinate, pass this list, x coordinates is the name of this column, customer number is the name of the column and corresponding list this way. And so you can select either of these methods to uh, read a text file and from this text file, you can create the CSV file. This way you will get the CSV data this way. And then I'm passing this VRPTW, VRPTW decorator, data is equal to data and I'm solving it. Once you solve it, now it won't take much time. See, you can check this 200 uh, customers uh, I'm considering and uh, SCIP is solving. You are getting this result from this SCIP tree that is basically an inverted tree. And finally, you are getting gap is 0, 0.0. Solving time, you can see that it's only three seconds it will take, means in three seconds, 200 uh, uh, vehicles route you can solve and you can get which path it will follow. So 
I'm using this exact method that is branch and bound. Now, this is the, you know, and this is the vehicle routing problem with time window. Now, what exactly, if you check this published result, there is 2700 point uh, something, it will come. I am getting 2700.3599. It is not that this, my uh, calculation is wrong. You can check all this uh, route and you can find out. The only difference is this, you know, the vehicle will start from this origin, that is uh, from the depot and return to its depot. And that's why, you know, it's it's giving a small error here. You, you can uh, rectify and you can calculate the, uh, the uh, total path uh, traversed by this vehicle. And a number of vehicles traversed is exactly equal to the uh, published results. You can check it. And this problem, and this problem is basically a 200 series. So 200 series vehicle routing problem. Now I will, I will share just a minute i need to shift it so so yeah let me share this one so if you if you write here that is vrp tw uh, 200 customers so here you can get there is the 200 customers if you open it let me check whether it has been shared or not yes so see see this is the 200 customers you can check and this problem this for these 200 customers from this uh, above uh, website you can get and you can you know if you click here you will get that is homeburgers 200 uh, customers instances uh, here you can use any uh, series any instance to check my uh, code so that's all in brief this code is also not available on uh, you know uh, on net so you can check this code you can download this code from my github and you can share if you have any problem or not Thank you very much.